Hello and welcome to this episode. We're going to talk about how to finger drum your way into an organic track in Cubase. Stay tuned. Today I'm going to show you a different way of creating organic MIDI tracks of, for instance, drums in Cubase, where we're kind of going to step away from that kind of, I think, difficult thing of just drumming onto your keyboard because yeah, it's not the right feel, I think, of drumming. Uh, and uh, if you can't afford getting a, a MIDI drum pad or whatever, there's a simple way to do it simply using your fingers. So I'm going to show you today how to go from finger drumming on your desktop or using drumsticks and how to get that into Cubase as MIDI in a slightly more creative manner. So first what we're going to do, we're going to add an audio track in Cubase and I'm going to record my finger drumming. Now that we have the track, we can see it here, take one finger drumming input. I had some click on to make it sync with the rest of the project. Uh, the first thing I did was to do a little bit of audio warp because honestly, it's early in the morning. I was not very tight, uh, but of course, here you can see how organic you want it to be. Uh, do you want everything to be completely in shape or do you just want to kind of clean it up. Uh, I went for just cleaning it up uh, to have some key points on on the on, on the spot just to not make it too busy. But we can still see that there, there are some li liveliness here uh, nonetheless. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go head over to hit points. I'm going to set the threshold to whatever I like. So now you can see that all my beats are given a hit point, almost. There are some there that does not have one yet. Like that looks better. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create MIDI notes. I'm going to choose dynamic velocity. So it keeps my dynamics as velocity in the MIDI file. Uh, I know that the instrument I'm going to send this to uh, has a tone on C3. So I'll write C3 to get the pitch right. And destination new MIDI track and press OK. So here's a new MIDI track with the information coming from my finger drumming input. I'm going to mute that track so we don't hear it. And I'm going to drag this event down to the drum I want to use. So in the MIDI editor, we can see the notes we have inputted uh, and they correspond to what I was finger drawing on my desktop. Let's press play. That to me feels more organic than I'm able to do on my keyboard. So let's Select them all and increase the intensity. Now we can select every other beat and take them to a different tone.
And that's a simple way of getting from finger drumming to an epic soundtrack in Cubase using hit points, variodo, and your VST MIDI instruments. If you like this episode, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell button, give me a like and share. And if you have any requests for future videos or content or things you want me to nerd out about, please leave a note in the comments and I'll do the best as I can. Thanks for watching. Cheers.